This is Staff Sergeant Carol Carson, a 16-year Marine Corps veteran. And this is Chris Maxwell, a recent law school graduate. They've rolled up a total of $4,300. Their team captain is... Barbara Felton. This is Danette Couteau, a part-time oboe player. And this is Daryl Wood, a secretary who likes backpacking. They lost yesterday by a fraction of a second, but they still have $4,100. Their team captain is Jim McGrell. Today, one of these two teams will have the chance to win cash and prizes worth more than $30,000 on Three for the Money. And here's the host of our show, Dick Timber. Let us start first by congratulating our stars for a great week's play. I, you've just both been outstanding, and oh. I know you're more nervous than the contestants oh. at this point. So exciting, especially, and I'm so proud of my team, and I want so badly for them to win. You've enjoyed yourself, though, haven't you? I've loved it. Yes, I've loved it. It's really fun to compete and play games. And, Jim, it's the other side of the coin for you and your team yesterday. If you weren't with us, Jeanette, on the last question of our catch-up round, trailing by $200, press the buzzer in a hair of a second, an infinitesimal amount of time, and she had the right answer with the Gershwins that we were looking for and might have won the game. But what's interesting, you haven't won a game all week. No. But you're only $200 behind. I feel like I gave Doug Sanders to his side. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are going to that final nine holes, right. and all you have to do, maybe one answer is all it will take for this team to win. Or maybe it will be Barbara Feldon's team. And all they're playing for today is all the money that they have accumulated in front of them. A $5,000 chance in our bonus round, and the winning team will take home today these two fantastic prizes. Jack? Yes, sir, Dick. Camaro, sensible, sporty, compact, offers a radial tune suspension package with steel-belted radial ply tires for responsive handling and a smooth ride. Furnished by Chevrolet. Dick? You're right, Jim. There is pressure on all of you. We wish you all good luck in advance, and we can thank you all for a lot of fun. And we're excited by the way you've played our game. And each member of the team will go home, the winning team, with one of those cars, plus all the money that they've won during the course of the week. Well, this is a familiar episode now this week, because now we turn to Jim and say, your team is behind. <laughs> because it's been that way all week, but not by much. That means he has an advantage, because this team will be up in the first round. We have three categories, three questions in each. They are... Gregory Peck movies. Second category is things made of rubber. Mm -hmm. Things made of rubber. And the third category, would you care to dance? Types of dances. Don't <laughs> think about it. Gregory Peck movies, dancing, things made of rubber. Get together. Now, find... now, what, what are the real categories? Those are, those are the ones. Get together, decide who's going to play what. We'll see whether or not Jim McCrell's team can catch Barbara Feldon. We play for it all today on Three for the Money, and we'll be right back. is our final day's play. The totals are cumulative, but today the winner gets it all in our first round. Features Jim McCrell's team. And of course, Jim, you can pick one against one, $100 an answer. You can play one of your team members against two of theirs for $200, one against all three for $300, a correct answer. Barbara Feldman's team naturally will try to stop you, and each time they do, they earn $100. And your first category today is Gregory Peck uh -huh. Movie. And who gets that one? Well, being the uh, co-founder of the Marilyn Monroe and Gregory <laughs> Peck Fan Club in Tarzana, I will get that. As he's saying, in case you weren't here earlier, Jim didn't exactly clean him up on Marilyn Monroe movies. He got uh, blindsided and didn't get an answer. But maybe Gregory Peck is more your category. How confident are you? I'm, uh... Well, we're a little behind. I'll play Barbara and Carol. All right, Gregory Peck movies, $200 for each correct answer for you, Jim. Barbara and Carol trying to stop you for $100. You're only $200 behind in the total game score. Here we go. Gregory Peck movies, name this movie. First clue is Royal Runaround. Clue two, Oscar for Audrey. And the third clue is Happy Holiday. Carol. Quick, I'm sorry, time is up. Jim, do you know the answer? Uh, it would be an... Nope, 
That was my answer. <laughs> Roman Holiday. Yeah. I remember I was in love with Audrey Hepburn for three weeks. After Obviously, I didn't pay a lot of attention to, Carrie, uh, to Gregory nope. Peck. No <laughs> points there. Here we go. Gregory Peck movies. The second Peck movie. And you're looking for the first clue here worth $200. The clue is Southern Setting. Southern oh, Setting. Oh, Jim, oh, already. To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird is right. You tie the game after we play the dead even. Final question, Gregory Peck movie. Name this Gregory Peck movie. First clue is anti-war warning. Clue two, a pollution solution. And clue three is no beach ball, Jim. Fail safe is incorrect. Carol and Barbara, do you know the you answer? Horses in your no, on the no. beach was the answer. On the beach. So That's Jim got thought. the only points in the category. He tied the game. $4,300 a piece. Jim, you're off the hook. Nice going, Captain. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we go to your second category. Rubber made. Things made of rubber. And who's going to play? Dinette. Danette. Dynamic Danette. She has been all right. Dynamite. She's going to play all three. All three. That's the way she's been playing in the catch-up round and doing very well one against three. Obviously, $300 for each correct answer. Danette, if you can get that first one right, you'll give your team that rare feeling of being ahead. It hasn't happened all week. Here we go. We're looking for something made of rubber. First clue is the old ball game. Clue two, be fuzzled. Chris. Tennis ball is right for $100. You lead by $100, Barbara Feldman's team. Here's your second question. Rubber made. Something made of rubber. First clue is lodged in the... That should be garage. Lodged in the garage, not grass. Second clue is nozzle nose. Carol. A garden hose. Garden hose is correct for $100. You lead by $200, but the net with a correct answer. You should give your team the lead. This is your last question in the category. Something made of rubber, and its first clue is Kitty's Delight. Clue two, inhaled Jeanette. Balloon. Balloon is right. Yeah. You have the lead. She did it. <laughs> For the first time she this did week, it. Jim McGraw's team is ahead. But the game is hardly over. Now, now let's see how they work in the lead. Four thousand six hundred to four thousand five hundred dollars. And you still have another category left, Jim. It is. Care to dance? All right. Daryl will play all three. All right, you have the lead. You're going to gamble on building the lead before our catch-up round. You have a $100 advantage, Daryl. You're playing against all three. One against three is worth $300. If you can come up with the right answer, they'll try to stop you. Care to dance? We're looking for a kind of dance. First clue is 60s solid gold. Clue two. An Idaho favorite. Chris. Mashed potatoes. Is right. You've tied the game. $4,600 a piece. Mashed potatoes is the correct answer. Here's our second dance. Name it. Here's your first clue for this kind of dance. A hip performance. Clue two. A shake of the grass. Daryl. Uh, hula. Hula is right the for $300. Girl. You have now opened up a $300 lead. This is the last question in this category. This is the last question in the first round. If Daryl gets it right, she will build a $600 lead before the catch-up round. Of course, Barbara's team trying to stop her. If they do, the lead will only be $200. Here we go. Last question in the round. Name this dance. First clue is Jazz Age Jump. Barbara. Flamingo. Is incorrect. So we can give Daryl the other two clues. Here they are. Made in Carolina. And the final clue for this dance is flapper footwork. The Charleston. Charleston is right. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her, but she was doing it before she can say it. So at the end of the first round, Jim McCrell's team behind all week long has opened a lead, $5,200 to $4,600. Two minutes left in the game. Barbara Feldman's team will be up trying to catch Jim McCrell. If they do, they win it all. We see in two minutes who's going to be our champion for the week. Don't go away. The exciting finale coming right up.